to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing silver trunks with black trim, hailing from Eugene, Oregon. His weight, 171 and one half pounds. His record, 12 wins, seven losses with three wins by way of knockout. They call him White Lightning. Please welcome Steve Harvey. And his opponent across the ring. On my right, fighting out of the red corner in this eight round super middleweight bout. He is wearing gold trunks with red trim, hailing from Freeport, Illinois. His weight, 168 pounds. His outstanding record includes 23 wins, only two defeats, with 20 big wins by way of knockout. He is the WBO middleweight champion of the world, known as the G-Man, Gerald McClellan. Norm Biden, once again, your referee in charge. All right, Gentlemen, so the fight is coming to the center of the ring. Let's listen now. to the referee. Are there any questions from this side? As we take a look at the tail of the tape, you can see that Remember, Steve Harvey's two inches taller. Times, he's three and a half pounds heavier. He's Good seven luck. years old, which is a disadvantage here. And he is uh, actually getting two inches reach advantage over McClellan. But don't be fooled by McClellan. He's the WBO middleweight champion of the world. He's a world-class fighter. So in spite of the fact that uh, Steve Harvey seems to be bigger and looks stronger, he's going to have his hands full with Gerald McClellan. The 10-point must scoring system will be used today. The winner of the round gets 10 points, the loser 9 or less. The scoring is done by three judges and is based on effective aggressiveness, clean hits, defense, and ring generalship. A fighter must get up following a low blow or he may be counted out. And there is a three knockdown rule in the state of Nevada. There is no standing eight count, but there is a mandatory eight count following a knockdown. That's McClellan in the gold trunks, world-class fighter. He is the WBO middleweight champion. This fight is uh, over the weight limit. He's in at 168, and Harvey's in at 171 and a half. Oh, big shot already, and Harvey's down. He gets right back up. He'll have to take the eight count. He hit him with the right Five, hand and then a left uppercut. Six, it's up to six, seven, seven and eight. eight He's right, right back up as one of those flash knockdowns. He was hit by a real Let's good combination. This one's not going to last too long. McClellan moves in. Steve Harvey tries to do something, uh, hanging on, throwing punches, leading out there with a left jab in the face of McClellan. But McClellan is a world-class fighter, and it's showing right here immediately in round number one. The other factor is uh, McClellan is coming off eight straight knockout victories over the past three years. Big body shot. Down he goes for the second time. He'll be able to get up on this one. It's up to five and six and seven. And he's up. Now remember, there's a three knockdown rule, so if he goes down again, this fight will be all over. Here we go. McClellan comes in. He's looking for the kill. And he's tied a big shot. Nails him the left hook. He backs off, and down he goes to his knees. The referee says, hold it, hold it. He went down on your knees there. Dust the gloves off and back. He, McClellan knows he's got this guy in trouble. Wild to the right hand. That's it. It's all over. The punch actually went over his head. Uh, he, he waved. He waved that it was all over. And it's not all over. The, and actually, it was a smart call by the referee because the punch went over his head and it looked like he slipped to me. He doesn't want to fight anymore. Steve Harvey overmatched. He was hit that time. The three knockdown rule takes effect. It'll be scored as a technical knockout. And uh, Gerald McClellan shows from Emmanuel Stewart's Crunk Boxing Gym that this guy is something else. We'll get the official timing in a little while, but McClellan is certainly a super, super fighter here, and he showed it. It came at 151, I think, will be the official time of the first round. A winner by TKO, Gerald McClellan over Steve Harvey. The crowd are not too happy with what they saw here, but a tough fight for Steve. He had only one fight in 1991. He won that by a TKO over Rick Jarvis up in Eugene, Oregon. But he's been mostly a local fighter, fighting up in that uh, part of the uh, the country. And McClellan is a world-class fighter who can really bang. And he showed his world-class ability in this fight. Uh, totally composed, hardly built up a sweat here in the 6,300-foot uh, altitude of Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Gerald McClellan, the WBO middleweight champion. This is the first knockdown. He's nailed with the right hand, and you see him move in. Catches him real good with the right hand again, and down he goes. He jumps right back up, but uh, we're showing you the same thing. The right hand catches him here. The overhand right, the left, and down he goes. That's the second one, and he gets up from that as well. Now watch this shot. In he comes, nails him with the right hand. 
that big right hand in there. The left hand just kind of took him off balance, but it was the right hand that did the damage. All the first knockdown. Gerald McClellan right there. His Ladies and time. gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at 1 minute 51 seconds in round number one. The three knockdown rule in effect. Winner by way of technical knockout, the G-Man, Gerald McClellan.